What's up dudes and dudettes? So today what I wanted to show you guys is basically, this is my audition space. <laughs> By the way, peep the new shirt, isn't that great? <laughs> For those of you who have no idea who I am, which is probably a lot of you, uh, <laughs> my name is Adam, uh, I'm an actor and a comedian, and a lot of times we have to do auditions at home and turn them in, you know, electronically submit them for film and TV and whatnot, and you have to have a place to do that. For a lot of times, what I've been doing in the past is going somewhere and having it professionally done. However, COVID. So you have to have a setup in order to do it yourself. And this is mine. I don't know if you see uh, the, the twin shadows behind me, but I have a light set up here. I'll, I'll show you what I have. So basically what I have is two of these, uh, newer uh, LED light panels and you can adjust like the yellow or the white you know so you can change the color temperature you can change the brightness um, and I got a couple of them and then I got a tripod and here I have a ring light and I what I use this for is to hold my phone so I can have a reader and I really I think next time I've only used this setup once, but I think next time I'm gonna bring this in closer. That way my eye line isn't so far away from the camera. That was my mistake last night. But, you know, you live and learn. So, this was a spare room that we just basically have storage in. So we've got like paint cans and stuff. But there you have it. I bet if I come over here, you probably can't. So, there you are. And this is a backdrop. The, the point of having a backdrop is actually uh, so that it's not shiny. Like, the wall is shiny and reflective, whereas this absorbs light. So probably the question, if you're wanting to set up something like this yourself, is how much did all this cost? Well, you gotta get, gotta get a camera. This is a Canon T7i, and this cost me $500. The microphone on top cost me $100. The lens I'm using uh, which is a, a wider angle lens so that I can, you know, be closer to the camera, but it not, you know, make better use of my small space here. Uh, it was about $300. The ring light setup thing here to hold my phone is 50 bucks. The tripod it's sitting on is 100. These lights for the set was like 150. This backdrop here was like, 20 bucks, maybe 30, I think it was 30. The stand that's holding it is uh, is 50 bucks, like 52 or something. So all said and done, it's like 1300 bucks to get it all. Hmm, so I don't know. Maybe that might not be worth it to you, but I mean, some weeks I'm doing, you know, eight auditions and if you're doing eight auditions and you're paying you know 30 bucks a piece to get them done or 50 bucks or whatever you know depending on how long they are can add up can really add up I mean I've definitely spent in the past probably thousands of dollars over the last several years to film auditions for me I'd say it's worth it it increases my turnaround time or well decreases my turnaround time like I can my turnaround time is far more rapid or has the ability to be um, and I slowly piece this together like I got the camera and for a while I was filming in my room with just the ring light is this entirely necessary no I've got friends that are able to film their auditions with nothing more than a cell phone and a ring light but here's the thing Here's my thought on it. When you're submitting your auditions, you're going up against every single other person who's submitting their auditions. So on top of the fact that your acting has to be good, it has to look and sound good. So if yours can look and sound better, or at least the top, you know, up in the top 10% or 1% of everyone else who's submitting one, you're already that much farther ahead. So, for me, yeah, I'd say it's worth it. I mean, if you book an extra couple of gigs because of it, I'd say it's worth it. That's a decision you gotta make for yourself. 
I don't know. <laughs> I hope that answered your question. But, I mean, as you can see, it's pretty nice. Took me a bit to get the wrinkles out. People who know me on, uh, on Facebook saw how wrinkled it was. <laughs> but now, as you can see, it looks nice. So, there you have it. Great. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, click the like button. You know, YouTube likes it when people click the like button. They share it out to other people. So there you have it. All right, hope you guys dig it, and I'll catch you guys next video. Love it.